Hello and welcome back to my channel, uh, Lance's Auto Vlog. Today uh, we're going to do a speaker upgrade in this Lexus GX 460. Uh, nice vehicle. We're just doing a speaker upgrade. I previously did an amp upgrade on it, um, and. Put a sub amp in and put you know wired did all that stuff i didn't videotape it but uh we're you know now we're going to do some speaker updates on it so what we're going to basically do is um we're going to upgrade the front door speakers here and then we're going to upgrade the tweeters here because this car doesn't have the upgraded audio package and we're going to update the rear speakers here so we're going to do what i like to call a stage one simple upgrade Oh, we're going to deaden the doors uh, around the speaker area, uh, just physically replace the speaker, and go from there. Uh, so, cue the promo. Okay, so what we're going to do with this, 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 this Lexus A, A is, like I said, upgrade the speaker. So what we did was we got a set of Hertz components for the front. Uh, a pair of coaxes for the rear we also got the speaker adapters for this vehicle specifically uh, and we're gonna what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take you through the steps on on setting it all up and pulling it all out uh, the new put the new speakers in and putting tape and we also do some deadening as well so we got new speakers upgrading the audio and we're gonna take it apart I'm gonna show you in, in uh, YouTube super fast mode on taking the door panels apart and also the a pillars that way we can see what we're doing with the tweeters so stay tuned i'll put you on super two super youtube speed mode and go from there all right peace So as you can see, uh, I took off the door panel, I took off the, the tweeter location. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, reattach the new tweeter to this location, uh, to, as you can see here. I'll put the new tweeter in there, use that same bracket. Uh, nice big cap on there. Um, and then what we're gonna do is also replace this six by nine with a six and a half with the correct spacer and the adapter and then um we're going to deaden around the door around the speaker itself so stay tuned so we'll take these out of the box and see what comes in the box of these speakers so we're going to have obviously box and we're going to have So you're gonna come with the tweeters, drivers, and then it's gonna have the hardware cups. We don't need those. The screws. Anyway, these are the cups that come with the tweeters. You're going to have a two different cups. You're going to have the ring that snaps in place and the cup that holds together. Get two sets of those. And then you're going to have the crossovers here.
Metra A28147. These are speaker adapters for 6x9s for this car. So we're going to use those. And then let's get started on it, getting the speakers done. We're going to start out by removing all these tabs off here, on both sets, and then we're going to put some beautiful tape on here so it, so it couples the door and the speaker well. The door speakers won't be that complicated when it's said and done. Like I said, we're going to do like a stage one on here. It's very simple, just deaden the back of the door behind the speaker and then deaden it around the surround area. Super simple. Now we go into super YouTube mode and get this done. So you want to make sure everything lines up, all the stuff fits in there right. And then, um, then you got to make the connection to the speaker. I didn't like to go with the speaker plugs that came with the factory. And what you want to do is make sure you check the polarity of the output. Now, I use a disc to do that. A disc and a polarity checker. So I make sure that whatever I'm hooking up is in polarity. Because once we're ultimately done, uh, we're going to need to do that. It's going to give you three greens and red. If you know that, you got to, you're in polarity. That's it. So, we, I did the upgrade on the front tweeters. The, the speakers that came the, that we purchased, I thought it'd be better to upgrade them to the uh, the Audison tweeters because they were a little bit bigger, and I have them. So I'll just swap them out for the new one. So it, this is what they look like now. So the, the tweeters bigger. Uh, than, the, than the actual Hertz tweeter. Uh, and he's a good friend of mine, so what I'm gonna do is I just upgraded him because I had him, and it, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're gonna sound phenomenal either way, but I think the bigger tweeter is gonna sound, it's gonna perform better, and they're more efficient, so it'll be a really good combination. So uh, hopefully he likes it. So I'm gonna wrap this side back up. Like I said, I got the door back together, uh, the tweeter in. So now I gotta do the other side of the car, and then I got the rear to do. So once it's all wrapped up, I'll play some, um, some um, some music for you, some um, copy uh, non copyright music, and hopefully you can hear it through the through the, the setup. And 
so I took the liberty of taking the rear door apart and uh, it's got the six and a half in the back so that's gonna be pretty simple uh, it wasn't that complicated uh, we're gonna do uh, the Hertz uh dcx 165.3s uh that's going to run the rear and then we're going to use the uh metra 82 8148 kit harness kit for that that's going to allow us to put that adapter in there and we're going to do the same process that we did for the for the uh the front doors as far as putting the tape on it and getting it all prepped and ready to go all right catch you on the other side speaker in got to uh, test the polarity So the Lexus is all wrapped up now, the GS 470, 460, sorry. Uh, and what we did is, like I said, upgraded the speakers. Everything's in the factory, nothing changed. It was all said and done, I did change the phase on the sub. It sounded like it was fighting the front. So we changed the phase. So this is copy free music. So let's, let's, let's rerun that track again.